I'd like you to take a look at these numbers and see if you can relate to that. Look at the bottom right, probably the most important one. 92 aircrafts, 20 ships, 5,000 trucks. That is the logistics that the World Food Program runs on a daily basis. That compares to some of the biggest companies out there. Think Coca-Cola in India, think Johnson & Johnson in Africa. That is a phenomenal logistic enterprise. Now, look at the middle circle there. The World Food Program serves 29, 21 million people. By serve, we mean the feed. 91 million people are fed every day by the World Food Program. 821, who can tell what that number is? Those who are paying attention to the first set of slides. People who are hungry. Hungry people. That's the number of people who will go hungry tonight, will not have had food. I'll ask you a simple question. What if? What if we could feed 1% more hungry people simply by providing a better supply chain with real-time visibility? 1% would mean up to 8 million more people would go to bed with a full belly. How is that happening? What are we, what are we suggesting? We are suggesting real-time visibility in supply chain. Take some of the screenshots we have. In the top there you can see green trucks, fantastic. On time, everything's going well. Red trucks, there's a delay. Now how important is that information? Knowing that a truck is gonna be delayed, that those tens of thousands of people in a camp will not get their food tonight because that truck is delayed, broken down, or being detoured. Would that information be useful to you? Could you then take another truck that's going somewhere else where there's not such a need and divert them? Real-time visibility in supply chain gives you predictability, and that is the key here. Eventually, what we want to do with, with Africa is what we've done with, with quite a lot of countries, for example, here in the US and India and most of Europe, is to give heat maps of where your bottlenecks are in your supply chain. Why is this important? Visibility brings predictability. Predictability brings, brings cost reduction. And very simply, cost reduction means you can provide more food on time to those who actually need it. How do we do this? I'm from Romi. We are a 45-year-old company, started off down the road here in Santa Clara. We provide real-time global monitoring services to our customers. And we do this on a very flexible OPEX model. So there's very little CapEx, almost none at all. You can deploy, you're ready now, tomorrow. And the devices can be deployed as and when you want it to. So I've got an example here of the B that we use, one of the devices. It's as simple as taking one of those B devices you can see on the top there from the family, throw that in a truck, it's all broadcast, it broadcast non-stop by the way. And you have real-time information about location, oh God, so quick, temperature, temperature, and everything. And it will benefit everybody, and not least the people who need it the most.